Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue control. Today we're going to test it. Well, not today, but right now I'm going to prepare for the barbecue I will do tomorrow. Ribs yeah, don't take that long, yeah, like pulled pork or something like this. First thing, prepare, take a sharp knife, try to sharpen it. I know it should not look that way, but it looks that way for me. <laughs> Because I'm not a I'm not a butcher, so I'm not very skilled in this. I just try not to hurt me. Should be sufficient. Unpack them. Because the first thing is seasoning. To open this carefully because once I've seasoned it, once I put this wrapping wrap on on these 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 ribs, I will uh, I will put them back in the bag and put them in the fridge over there. Right. Looking nice. Okay. Hygiene. Important. Let's rub it. Here's the thing. I usually cut them in half. Because actually my grill is not that big. You know? Yeah. And then just rub it. Here I have my, my mixture. I'm not sure. I think it was called Heaven's Dust, Angel Dust, some dust. Uh, magic Dust. It's called Magic Dust. Oh, smells wonderful. Yeah. Some tends to, to, to get away here, some skin, silver skin we call it or whatever. I don't know. I think that's not that important. Up to now, everything was working pretty well. Cover everything nice due to the moisture of the flesh. This will simply stay on. No. No, just rub it on. I will do that for the rest of this these whips here as well. What some some more? I have still some more. The ready ones. Back in the bag. And leave them in the fridge for until tomorrow. If there are vegetarians among the viewers, you are definitely watching the wrong video of me right now. I think of a lot of stuff in this in this uh, barbecue things are simply too much. Uh, now this thing is wrapped, put it in the fridge, and then tomorrow we'll start barbecuing it using our barbecue thermometer we built. Okay, so next step is to unpack the the barbecue. It's still sitting here. Yeah, I never unpacked it in this season because it was a very, very rainy season and well I'm already curious how it looks like. Let's open. Hmm. Okay, looking good. This is my, my barbecue. Uh -huh. One, two, yeah, and there is the coal basket. This was the inspiration of my of the things you see in between of us. Huh? Looking a little bit dirty because I have not cleaned it. What what the control needs to do this year is the exhaust air. Yeah? It is not that easy to control. Uh, so this I am I want to put in a certain position, like two or something like this. Here we have the intake air control. This moves easily. So I want to to control this dust from from winter time. Uh, I really have to 
think how to mount here something. This is why I have not yet designed something. Be opener. <laughs> yeah, so let's fill the coal basket. Basket, 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 basketball, basketball, co op. <laughs> Filling this coal stuff, there are a lot of things you can read. Oh, you need to use a minion ring and whatever. Uh, I, for me, I don't think that is that important. One of those eco-friendly ignition things, put it on the side here and then I simply fill up around with the coals. I also want to place them in order, but it's, I, I don't think that it's that important. The only thing is, it needs to, to burn. I only use one, one of those starters, starter helper, starter, starter helper. <laughs> Not more, yeah, because I want that the fire starting here and then spreading slowly. I start the fire and put it back in. I only have to use or find somewhere like that. <laughs> Found one. Uh, put it in. <laughs> the issue now is that we have a lot of direct heat here. Yeah? For barbecue, you don't need direct heat. Yeah? We're going to prepare two other things, one for roasting, uh, a little bit wood, wood chips, uh, a pan we put up here uh, to prevent direct heat. Step number one, smoking, I have such smoking pan uh, and I put in those, those chips, it's not really chips, it looks like pellets, uh, I don't know what, what type of, of wood uh, are, is inside there, give a nice taste. Uh, and then put it in. Ooh, smoky. That's in. And then I have here this insert, this pan. I put it in here. So you see, it fits perfectly. Inside this pan, I'm putting hot water. Then I can control the heat. And it's not really, really going directly to the meat. It's going indirect. Huh? Barbecue. Barbecue. Let's put in the water. Ooh, it's already smoky. I usually use uh, boiling hot water. This water in the pan is now leveling the temperature. It's keeping, trying to help the temperature inside the barbecue constant. I placed the temperature probe here, base station. Here I have the handheld device. Let's see, 52 degree. All right, so now we only have to wait until we have around 100, put in the, the ribs and wait, three hours, huh? three hours smoking. Eighty degree reached. Okay, so I set the alarm for 80 degree to be reminded that we have to put in the, the ribs. Okay. I'm using from, from IKEA, there is this, there are, they usually for pans or covers. And I've read in the internet that this is working pretty well. And yes, it's working pretty well. And now I put the ribs in. All right, looks nice, right? And this I put in here. Now we'll place here and here and here and here, also some ribs and then we are full. Yeah, this is how it looks like now. Ooh. And now I close it. Huh? Now it should fit. Closed. Put in the temperature probe. Good. And now we only have to maintain 100 degree. Yeah, maintain 100 degree. Four hours now. Three hours are almost over. 
this is how it looks like the temperature mm, looking pretty nice i would say they need a little bit more moisture yeah usually some do this in tin foil and i'm using those pouches yeah? those pouches you can build those pouches they are usually flat so they can be cleaned easily and they are built rather quick reusable yeah? I'm pretty sure this is better for the environment because to clean it. And inside there, I put now the rib and a little bit of liquid. Some use beer. I really don't use beer because beer is not, I don't know. There's too much alcohol anyway, especially in Austria. So I'm using apple juice because this gives a little caramel then when it's getting hot and so on. This is better than for, for my taste. Huh? These are my pouches. 15 yeah. and this I will do. So this was all yesterday, after the two hours, two hours inside these pouches, you put them out uh, and put it into the grill for another an hour yeah, with a little bit more temperature or whatever your grill can, can handle, uh, let's say 120, but actually I, there were already guests and so on and I didn't want to bother them by making shooting videos. Yeah? The ribs tasted delicious yeah? and this thing here, this performed pretty nice I must say. Yeah? Let's see how many, how much battery is still, still inside. I think this could be, this could be improved, the battery lifetime. Yeah? How much battery we have. Yeah, it's now written 100%. Yeah, of course. Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> it dropped to 50 yesterday. Yeah. But after seven hours of, 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 of operation. So actually I'm I'm satisfied. Huh? I'm satisfied with the behavior of this stuff. I'm satisfied how this is working. Maybe I will tweak uh, here the, the, the software from here a little bit uh, to mm, you know, then it always started to, to send the battery yeah, because this the, the threshold of the battery uh, percentage it was not it is a little bit too low mm. so this is not really uh, but actually I'm, I'm pretty satisfied huh? barbecue for the controller I need to think a little bit more yeah. But right now for me it's already nice to have those lines and see because a trend is a trend. So when I come up with a solution for this uh, controlling the air inlet and so on, I will let you know. Up to now, right it, now it's summertime, now it's vacation time. No. <laughs> Today is the 6th of July. Mm. So then you realize how long it takes for post processing and stuff. Yeah, probably this will be autumn when you see this. But hey, yeah, for next year. Be prepared for next year. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.